eFarmix is a digital healthcare company solving an age-old problem, um, which is that it's really, really tough to keep track of patients once they're outside of the doctor's office. Uh, we solve that problem with simple technology. We ask questions to the patients at the right times. We provide actionable insights and reports to doctors so they can provide better care for their patients. And then we improve outcomes and we prove it and we prove thus that we're saving payers money. For a patient, it should feel as though almost nothing is happening, which is a bit strange. There's no app, there's no login or portal. The patient just gets a text message or a phone call saying, is it all right if your doctor communicates with you via this number? And then specific questions, maybe simple messages, go to that patient. The other bit of feedback that we've received from patients is, this doesn't feel like a gimmick. It doesn't feel like, uh, like yet another tool that the health system is pouring onto me. Instead, I see the obvious benefit of answering these questions. I know that when I provide my blood sugar, that when I provide my breathing score, that when I share my level of pain in this day or this week or this month, it's helping the doctor provide better care for me. Once the eFarmix team had the idea, uh, it accelerated so rapidly because of the resources that Idea Labs provided. Um, connections to mentors, um, very early stage capital, and credibility to walk into physicians and even patients and share the idea. The entire eFarmix team, all uh, previously WashU students, um, are specifically not here by coincidence. Uh, everybody on the team uh, I hand selected because I see the skill sets that this kind of team needs to survive and all of those skill sets are in that room right down the hall. Staying in St. Louis Free Pharmax was a quantitative decision. It's a combination of team, capital, customers, access to mentorship. Well, I think WashU's approach to entrepreneurship works pretty well because it's pretty transparent. At no point does a student go into a black box and then come out the other side with startups or with capital. Um, every step of the way, you're able to go to the top of any organization, from the Scandalera Center to the business school to the engineering school, connect with the right folks, and then get meaningful feedback.